Hello everyone, today I'm going to create this look for you, a warm sunset inspired makeup look using some of the new shadows I got from Makeup Geek, a mix of the regular formula as well as the new foiled ones too. If you want to see how I created this look then keep on watching. To prime the skin ready for base I'm using my neglected Max Factor Facefinity All Day Face Primer. The foundation I'm using today is also long forgotten bourgeois healthy mix serum and I'm in the shade 55 and I'm applying it straight to the face using the Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush. Then using the Pixie Natural Brow Duo in Deep Brunette I'm going to fill in and shape my brows using the angled pencil end before combing through them with the tinted brow gel on the other end. This is a great brow product and I find it's great for when I'm really pushed for time. To prime my eyes ready for eyeshadow I'm using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray just dabbing it on the eye and blending it out with my finger. I'm going to start with applying the shade Creme Brulee into the crease with the Zoeva 2288 Luxe Crease Brush. Then taking a clean blending brush like the NARS Kabuki Eye Blender, I'm just moving over the top edge of the eyeshadow just to make things look seamless. Then taking the shade Cocoa Bear, I'm applying it tightly into the crease with the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush, concentrating most of the product on the outer crease. Then going back in with the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush which I used with the previous shade, I'm just blending the two shades on the lid together but also ensuring that there are no harsh edges. Then going in with a 239 flat shader brush, I'm going to apply the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow in the shade Grandstand to the mobile part of the lid. Then of course I'm going back in with the first brush and blending the eyeshadows together for a softer, more seamless look. Then to intensify the look and add more depth to the eye, I'm going in with a Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush and applying the shade Burlesque in the outer V. Then back in with the Zoeva 228 Luxe crease brush to blend everything together. Then to add a bit of brightness to the eye, I'm taking the Zoeva pencil brush and applying the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow in the shade in the spotlight in the inner part of the eyelid as well as the inner corner. For the bottom lash line I'm using this Sigma E45 brush again and running the shade Grandstand along the whole bottom lash line. Then for the outer lash line I'm using the shade Burlesque. To curl my lashes I'm using my trusted Shumura eyelash curlers. I'm using the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim to draw in a low key wing and tightly line the upper lash line. I like to build the flick gradually and I find this the most foolproof way to achieve a clean cut flick. To create a fuller, thicker lash line, I'm lining the top lash line with the Eye of Horus Smoky Goddess Eyeliner. Then for the lashes, I'm using L'Oreal's Volume Million Waterproof Lashes Mascara. To conceal those bags, firstly, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown's Corrector with my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and apply the product directly to the darkness under the eyes, and then using a mix of my brush and my fingers to blend out the product. Then to brighten up under the eye area and to further conceal, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm blending it all out using a damp beauty blender. I'm also using the same concealer just to hide some of the redness and blemishes still visible on the skin and again blending it all out with the damp beauty blender. I wanted to brighten up the centre of the face a little more so I applied the NARS concealer to the centre of my forehead and again using the beauty blender I'm just blending it all out. To set the under eye area I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and dabbing it lightly under the eyes with the beauty blender. 
For the rest of the face, I'm using my favourite powder of the moment, which is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder, and I'm in the shade 53, and I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush to set it. Just check out that smile on my face. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow to contour my face and carve out some cheekbones. The brush I'm using here is the NARS Yachio Kabuki Artisan Brush. For blush, I'm using the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade 03 Rosa Moore, and I'm using the Real Techniques Blush Brush to apply it. To highlight the tops of my cheekbones and my brow bone, I'm taking the Zoeva 105 Highlight Brush and applying the Glow Shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And then just a cheeky little bit down the centre of my nose too. Then to line and fill in my lips, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. The lipstick I've chosen today is Max Fast Play, the latest lipstick in my MAC collection. Then to add a pop of pinky shine, I'm using my favourite lip gloss and this one's the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 01. And this is the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!